Hey yogis and welcome. I'm Kate and I am glad you're here. Today's practice is going to be a brain break, a quick 15 minute flow to get you out of your head and into your body. You won't need anything, but if you do like to have blocks nearby, grab a couple of blocks, find a quiet spot, roll out your mat, and let's get to it. All right, so we are gonna start standing. So come to the top of your mat and find your Tadasana, feet underneath your, your hips, hips underneath your shoulders, and just close your eyes for a moment. Start to do some circles in your shoulders, just so you can start to feel them and how they sit on your back, right? Those shoulder blades in there. If there's any tension, you can roll it out in the other direction. And feel yourself settle in, right? Shoulder blades in your back. Let your arms hang down by your sides. And as you press into your feet, to the top of your head, stretch up and take a couple of breaths right here. And when you inhale, sweep your arms out, reach them up. And exhale, bring your arms into cactus for the tips of your shoulder blades, pull in. Now the backs of your hands can press back. Inhale, lift into your chest. And when you exhale, curl in. Pinkies and elbows come together, chin to your chest. Inhale, open it up. And exhale, curl it in. And you can make this as big and dramatic as you want. <laughs> Inhale, open it up. And curl it in. Last one, inhale, open it up, pause here, right? With your arms in cactus, take your left arm, wrap it underneath your right one. So you've got eagle arms here. Feel the shoulders soften away from your ears, but let your elbows lift up. And now from here, you can take your hands and drop them over to the right. Take your left ear over your left shoulder. Give your head a little shake side to side. That's it. You got it. And then bring your head back up through center, your hands too. Keeping your arms in eagle, shift your weight into your right foot. Come onto the ball, the left one. And now feel your left knee pull up and into your chest. And we wrap into eagle, straight into it. Bend your right knee. Place your left big toe on the floor. So you've got both feet there down. <laughs> both feet there down. <laughs> Lengthen your tailbone and let your weight pull back into your hips. If you want to play with balance here, you can lift your left toes off the mat. <sighs> Press into the floor, lift it back up, left knee into your chest, and step back, warrior one. Not such a huge stance, so your elbows lift and then arc up and back here. <sighs> Inhale, sweep your arms out and reach them up. When you exhale, drop your hands behind your back and release your fingers. Feel your knuckles pull down, your chest lift up. Broaden through your collarbones, inhale. Humble warrior on your exhale. Fold it down to the inside of your right thigh. Feel your right hip pull back, shake out your head and your neck. When you exhale, release your hands to either side of your right foot. And here's where blocks can come into play if you want them. Inhale, lengthen your spine with your right knee still soft. And when you exhale, fold and just press the floor away. Start to work to straighten that right leg. Inhale, soften your knees, take your gaze forward. Exhale, pull it back. Maybe it straightens a little bit more. One more like that, inhale. And exhale, hold the fold. Pull that right hip back, press into your right foot. Parsvottanasana. Shake out your head here. And notice if your weight is dumping super far into your right foot, press back through that left heel. Now soften your right knee, walk your hands forward a little bit so you have room to step back, downward facing dog. And when you get there, just pedal it out. That's it, let it be smushy and <laughs> full of ease here. Take a breath through center, and when you exhale, drop your knees to the mat, find table, and inhale through a few rounds of cat and cow. One more, inhale, stretch your chest forward, feel your tailbone tip to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog, pull it back. 
rock it forward into plank and move through vinyasa knees just chin or chaturanga if you want it and baby cobra our upward facing dog pull it back downward facing dog and take your gaze forward and just tiptoe it up Nice, easy Uttanasana at the top of your mat. Soften your knees. Grab opposite hand to elbow and let yourself sway. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press into the floor. Urdhva Hastasana, rise up. Exhale, arms into cactus. Squeeze it in. Inhale, lift into your chest, exhale. Elbows and pinkies curl in. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, curl it in. One more. And curl it in. Open it back through cactus. Yes, and then from here we take the right arm, wrap it underneath. Eagle the arms here for the tops of your shoulders, soften down. And now your hands can go over to the left a little bit, right ear drops over your right shoulder. Give your head a little shake right here. Come back through center. Shift your weight into your left leg. Pull your right knee into your chest. Take your right leg, cross it over the left. Right big toes hit the mat. Sitting bones back. You can keep your right foot on the mat there if you want or you can lift your right foot up. Find the balance. <laughs> it's hard to balance. With the waves flowing. Oh goodness, press into that left foot. Come on up, right knee in. Step your right foot back. Scoop your tailbone. Arc your fingertips to the sky. And now inhale, sweep your arms out and reach them up. Vera one. Hands behind your back and release your fingers. Knuckles down. Lift up into your chest. Glue down through the outer edge of your back foot. When you exhale, humble warrior, fold it in. Outer left hip's gonna pull back as the crown of your head drops down. Release your hands here. Keep that left knee soft. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And when you exhale, pull your hips back. Work to straighten that left leg. Inhale, bend your knee. Stretch it out. Exhale, press into both feet, strain that left leg. One more, inhale, soften. Exhale, into the stretch and pause it here as you push into your left foot for your left hip draw back. Shake out your head and your neck. Blocks under your hands if you want them here, right? Soften your left knee, walk your hands forward, step it back, downward facing dog. Oh, and pedal it out, soften the tops of your shoulders. Oh. Take a breath in, knees to the mat. A couple more cat and cow, inhale. And curl it in. Keep it rolling, two more. Downward facing dog on this next exhale, pull it up and back. Rock forward into plank and lower it through your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Take your gaze forward. Walk or hop it up, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. And fold. Press the floor away, come all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, inhale. Slide your hands down through prayer. Shift weight into your right foot, lift your left knee in. This time we come into tree, Rikshasana. Bring that left foot to the <laughs> inner edge of your right leg. Feel your outer right hip pull in and up, your chest lift. Whew. Take your left knee, point it straight forward. Step it straight back now, crescent lunge. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, cactus, lean back, lift into your chest. <sighs> Inhale, reach your arms up. When you exhale, hands to the mat. Sweep your right leg up, kick it back, down dog split. Bend your knees, stack your hip, open it up. If you wanna drop it back here and do a little baby wild thing, you can drop the ball of that right foot down, lift it up. 
from here we come into pigeon let's do it <laughs> i couldn't think of what it was called bring your right shin forward You can keep your left toes tucked or untucked. Inhale, lengthen up here when you exhale. Fold it out and over. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere and try to relax. One more breath right here. And slide your hands underneath. Here we go. Step it back. Plank. And a vinyasa. Tuck those toes. Lift your hips. <laughs> Gaze it forward. Walk or hop. Uttanasana. Bring it up. Halfway lift. Unfold. Press into the floor. Come all the way up. Ordva Hastasana. Slide your hands down through prayer. Shift weight into your left foot. Pull your right knee in. Tree on this side. Vrikshasana. Feel your outer left hip. Pull in and up. <laughs> Breathe into that wibble wobble on your left ankle. If you fall out, come right back in. <laughs> Sweep your right knee forward. Step it back, crescent lunge. Inhale your arms out and up. And exhale, pull it into cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Sweep your left leg up, reach it back. Bend your knee, stack your hip open. You can hang right here in this like wild dog, or you can drop it all the way back for wild thing. Mm, from wild thing, slow and easy. Bring this left shin forward. Pigeon, pigeon. Plug those legs in. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale. Come all the way back down. Nice long spine out and over your left leg. Relax through your shoulders and your cheeks and your jaw. And breathe. Notice any sensations. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Relax into them. It's okay. Just making a little space today. One more breath. Slide your hands underneath. Step it back. Plank. Pause here. Press the floor away. Strong front of your body. Long back body. Inhale. Exhale. Lower through vinyasa. Last one. And downward facing dog. Take your gaze forward and walk or hop your feet up to your hands. And then take your butt down to the mat. And cross your right shin in front of your left. Sit up here and just walk yourself forward. Sitting bones root back behind you. Shake your head. And walk your hands underneath. From here, swivel your chest to the right, left hand to your right knee. And keep your left hand where it is. Bring your right arm around to the other leg here. Curl it in. Inhale, lift your chest, take your arms, reach them up, shift your weight back into your sitting bones. Find a little boat pose right here, just enough so you can take your legs and cross them in the other direction. Left shin in front, inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, fold it forward. Slide your hands underneath. 
sit up tall and now we twist it to the left right hand to your left knee right hand or left hand behind oh goodness keep your right hand where it is reach your left arm around oh grab that other knee curl it in and inhale come all the way up sweep your arms up one more time shift back into your sitting bones find your boat <laughs> and now you get to sit however you feel comfortable if you want to lay it back into a shavasana you can curl your knees in and lay it all the way back if you want to just pause here for a moment with your knees into your chest take a breath and then we take our final our final pose either sitting or on your back close your eyes and settle into the rhythm of your breath and even here notice the subtle shifts from when you stepped onto your mat and notice what even a small amount of time does to recalibrate to reset to give yourself this little tiny break in your day And this is where I leave you if you want to stay for another few breaths or as long as you'd like, you can. But I want to thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this little tiny brain break. And I hope that now you feel ready for whatever comes next. Thank you for joining me. It's a privilege and an honor to be here. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. You know the deal. Go make it a great day. Thank you.